This is a ARC 200 stick welder. And let me just show you some quick things that it comes with. Uh, it comes with the clamp and it comes with the electrode holder. The cables is very thick. This is two meters long for this. And this is one meter long for this. And then the actual overall power cable for this is one meter and a half. It comes with um, some safety protection, this, this plastic mask and this glass piece. I don't recommend using these. I mean, this is only a last resort. Comes with um, a chisel and a brush. I mean, these, uh, I don't recommend this. I recommend buying another. This is like bonus. And this is the handle for that. This is plastic. I mean, for li very light, light jobs. This is where you uh, chisel out um, the metal after you do the welding. So it comes with that. And that's it, the instruction manuals here, which is in good English for most of the time. So stick welders are very simple. It's because you're just creating a circuit and then this dial is to control how much power you need and there's a power switch. So let me just turn on the power switch. And there's the fan turning on instantly. It's very, very well ventilated. It's very powerful. And if you ever start with, um, for your first time, I would suggest putting this in the middle and start experimenting. If it's too much power, as in there's big blobs of well, just bring it down. And if it's the opposite, bring it up. And it also determines how fast you drag your stick as well. So this goes all the way down to 14. Goes all the way up to 200. These are amps at 58 volts. And that's it. And this is uh, means there's power and it's red when there's overcharge, when there's too much. Um, or when it overheats, I think, as well. So let me just turn this off. And notice I turn it off, it's still on because it's still venting the heat. It's a safety procedure, so it wants to get rid of that heat before it turns off completely. A bit about this is, it said it's pretty thick cable. It's very pretty high quality for the cost uh, of this product. You could also replace this cable. This is very standard as well and you look at this you could it's nice copper and you could adjust where the stick is going um, either 90 degrees 45 degrees 180 degrees and it looks like it's very easy to repair as well it's simply just a wire going to this copper end and that's it you're just creating a closed circuit so how this works is quite simple um, you would clamp this onto your metal piece that you want to weld and you would put a stick this is a nail but using as a demonstration you would clamp this onto this and then once you touch that here you closed a circuit and it creates a massive amount of heat because all the electrons are running through and it creates it, it melts the stick onto the metal piece of course this is painted you want this uh, as bare metal if you have a metal table um, you could actually ground the table clamp this clamp this onto the table and then you could start working there's no clamping onto this metal piece to create the arc you need to strike the stick against the metal plate like a match lifting the stick off the plate and putting it back to start welding to get a good weld you need to experiment with the power settings and the dragging of the stick speed this is what happens when you have a low power setting or you're dragging too slow. The opposite is a big blob of weld. I recommend getting a good hammer to get the slag off the weld.